Hello fellow humans, Bad Mark with Mac Tech Keyboards and another transmission from Keyboard World today. We're going to be doing a quick unboxing of a board which I don't see much of in other markets other than say um, C and, and like that. But I believe Ajaz has a very similar if not the same version of this board. Who makes it? I don't know. I'm not going to get into that. I just saw it. I thought it was very interesting. A lot of other people showed interest for it. I bought this along with the Fancy Alice, uh, which I should be doing a unboxing video for that, and I will be doing a build video. That's a stacked acrylic Alice kit, so that'll require a build. Um, I may do a live stream on it, but this one, let's take a look. This is a... Uh, I need, need something to open it up with. So I'm going to go ahead and just try to, I prefer to pull the sticker off and cut it, call me weird, it's OCD. Alright, so this is, oh, look at that, uh, this uh, keycap set is very reminiscent of a board that's very popular right now. Um, woo. So. I initial impressions this board is quite weighty it feels uh, pretty good that knob it's different it's small I don't hate it but as long as I can replace it that's good it has a little bit of a indent there but there's seems to be enough room around it um, it is a wireless so it has a pocket if it has a 2.4 I prefer that it have a place to store it because by now I have way too many of those dongles and you know sometimes it's just difficult but on initial impressions this looks like the theory keycap set that Epo Maker is coming out with um, so I don't know why I thought I was getting a bare bone so it's a bit of a surprise to actually get um, get a keyboard with switches and keys so that's why especially for what I paid um, let's see what we got here oh are these no way oh no they're not I thought they were they looked for a second like uh, Fecker Holy Pandas but um, they're Jixian now they're not definitely a linear switch although I mean that looks like a holy panda but that's a um, light to medium weight I would say probably a 40 to 50 gram um, spring weight all right let's uh okay so it has a uh, Mac and Windows mode and it also has a 2.4 in the Bluetooth let's go ahead and turn one of these modes on to get the lights all right, so I do like that, and I believe these lights, they have something to do with charging, uh, connecting, and something else, each one of the bars right here. So I do like that as part of the design. So, all right, I just wanted to see the lights come on. They seem pretty bright, and we do have five pin compatibility. So that is a good thing. All right, let's go ahead and set you back in. Yeah, these, uh, I mean, if I had to guess, they'd be MDA. But again, I, for some reason, it skipped me. I thought it was a bare bones, which I was fine with anyway. So you um, can see that it's trying to connect, but it's not going to connect. So let's go ahead and, uh, and turn it off. And out of curiosity, all right, yeah, so that comes off. That's your standard D knob, as you can see. So that can be replaced with practically any potentiator meter. Now do note it, note that it does stick down a little bit. Um, so if you have one, it has to, it, you're going to have to take that into consideration because that has to go down into it. So if you get one that's too wide and it doesn't have enough room to go down in there and actually lock into place, it's not going to work. 
So just keep that in mind if you do buy this board. Now, I'm making an assumption based on the design that it just, yep. All right, I didn't mean to get this far into it, but please. Yeah, there's a little bit of flex, not that much, but I mean, I do have spare gaskets, so I could probably uh, makeshift myself one, but not really particularly happy about that. But all right, let me just, uh, we're just going to bring down the mic and just do a really rough sound test. I'm going to bring up the gain a little bit and bring down the mic. All right. And there's no need for you guys to look at my mug while I'm uh, typing. So, all right. Alright, so this is a sound test of the um, Fancy Tech 81. I'm just going to put it on so it's a mode. I'm not connected. But uh, this is a stock sound test, what it sounds like out of the box. It comes with uh, linear switches. I don't know what kind of linear switches, but stock sound test. Well, I'm actually surprised. It's not bad. It's actually a little muted. The stabilizers do not sound awful. Um, I'm actually quite impressed. Like I said, I'm a little bummed about that gasket, but I can go ahead and make another one. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's not bad so far. I'm definitely going to modify it, and we'll go from there. I may, I, I'll probably keep the keycaps. I kind of like it. I don't have this uh, particular... Uh, colorway, industrial, whatever it's called. Um, it's, I know Epic Maker calls it theory, but I'm definitely going to switch out the switches or at least lube them because, I mean, they're not horrible, but yeah, it's just kind of muted. I want to bring out some life um, out of that aluminum plate, and I think I can do that. So anyway, that was a just a quick unboxing of the... Um, Fancy Tech 81, and uh, a new video will be come with, coming with me modding it and getting the most sound out of it and uh, getting my thoughts on it. Until then, keep calm and keyboard on.